So what we have here is the qualitative data analysis software Atlas TI. The first thing I'll do is scroll through several rich text format files that I've imported into the library. These are all individual field notes. On the left is the text of one field note that documents ongoing conversations I had with somebody who worked in the pelt trade. On the right is a column of codes based on selected text. This can be coded for theme or theory or concepts, anything you want. It's a really neat way to organize and curate your data. As an example of this process, I'm going to create a new code. So the first thing I'll do is select some text. This is called a quote. This particular part of our conversation was based on selling pelts, so I will code this pelt trade. As you can see now, pelt trade appears on the right column with the rest of the codes. Another way to code your data is to select from any number of predefined codes. And given that the pelt trade is somewhat of a gray economy, I will select informal market. As you can see, pelt trade, informal markets, and other codes are all associated with the same text. So once you've made some progress coding field notes, you can focus on a particular code and all its corresponding quotes. I'm going to hone in on the category animals and its corresponding quote, trique, which means barter in Spanish. Now the corresponding field note appears on the screen, as you can see. It details how a river merchant traded supplies for pelts with members of a native community. This is one way you can compare similar topics that occur over time during field work. So now we're going to look at the network view. This is just another way to visualize your data. And what we're looking at here is a very broad category, animals, which has over 30 associated quotes. This is the code for hunting. This is the code for the consumption of wild animals. This is the code I use for using wild animals to attract ecotourists at lodges, among other things. This is the code for domesticating wild animals, such as having pet monkeys. Here we have the quote that we were originally looking at that details costs of pelts during the pelt trade, such as of margays, jaguars, river otters came in, and so forth. And this is the field note from a month later that describes the trade relationship between the river merchant and native community. Now that I can look at my data across time and link similar themes from multiple field notes together into a single view, I can write analytical memos, which are these blue boxes in the periphery. These memos can also contain drafts of questions that I plan to ask during future interviews.